Hello and welcome back to another video and today this is a little bit on the strange side. This story comes out of North Carolina but before we get started um, if you like the videos on this channel, if you enjoy the commentary, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get into this story. North Carolina woman thought ghost was in her closet, not a man wearing clothes. <laughs> Okay, so this woman thought she had a ghost, and it turns out it was a human being. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. All right. The woman said she used to joke about the ghost that haunted her apartment. Maddie, a student at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, and Greensboro, I really like that place. That's a really nice laid-back place, who identified herself by her first name, explained to WFMY-TV that her clothing had mysteriously disappeared in the past. Moreover, the junior told other local outlets this week that she had previously noticed handprints on the bathroom walls. Okay, so I guess with those two things going on, she thought she had a ghost in her apartment. Now, uh, I, I may can, uh, I really can't, but, you know, may can make some sense out of her thinking, oh, I, I just hung my dress up in the closet. Now the day is gone. I mean, that's suspicious right there. But handprints on the bathroom wall? Uh-uh, no. <laughs> I, I would have been out of there. It is no way in the world I would have been like, I have a ghost. Not with handprints. I mean, do ghosts even have handprints? You know what I'm saying? No. I don't understand why she wasn't out there when she noticed handprints. That would have uh, terrified me. The handprints, they weren't hers. Okay. On Saturday, Greensboro police say Maddie confronted her quote-unquote ghost after hearing something rattling in her closet. All right. Let me hear something rattling in my closet, and I'm supposed to be the only one in my apartment. Guess what? I'll be running right out of that apartment. I would not be confronting anybody. I'd have, I would have left. That reminds me of the movies, you know, when you see somebody doing something, like going to the danger, and you know they should run because they just want to investigate. No, I don't need to investigate. I just need to get out of there. Who's in there? <laughs> she recalled asking in the interview with WFMY as she pressed against the closet door. She realized a spirit wasn't responsible for the sound. Mm. Oh, my name's Drew, a man's voice replied. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can you imagine you're talking to something in your closet you think is a spirit, and then you realize, no, it's a full-grown man in my closet. My heart would have fell to my stomach. Oh, my God, to the feet, to my feet. Maddie told police, told the station that she tried making an emergency call from her smartwatch to no avail, just like out of a horror movie. You be trying to get away, the car won't start, the battery died on the cell phone. <laughs> I, I just would have been panicking big time. When she felt the man pushing the door open and the stranger promised that he wouldn't harm her, Maddie relented. Oh my gosh. She probably relented more out of fear, I'm thinking. I know he probably told her that he wasn't hurting her, but he wasn't going to hurt her. Maybe she really wanted to believe that. And since Maddie was able to give an interview, he, he kept his promise. I opened the door, and he's in there wearing all of my clothes, my socks, my shoes, and he has a book bag full of my clothes, she reported to Fox 8. I, I can't imagine. I, I have never heard of anything like this before. And I'm sure it probably happened other places, but this is really crazy. The intruder begged Maddie not to call the police. She contacted her, contacted her boyfriend and chatted with him to keep him busy while he exhibited more strange behavior. Okay, so at this point, her survivor instincts are probably kicking in. She figures, you know, let me keep him occupied that he's not so focused on me so that he doesn't hurt me. So, you know, at that point, I mean, she didn't try to escape when she had the opportunity, so now she has to find another way to not get hurt. He tries on my hat. He goes in the bathroom and looks in the mirror and then is like, you're really pretty. Can I give you a hug? What? She recalled to Fox 8, but he never touched me. I wonder what she said to get out of that hug. And it's a good thing that she, she didn't hug him because there's no telling what, what would have happened if he had the opportunity to, to actually touch her. Maddie told WFMY that she felt somewhat bad for the man who left once her boyfriend arrived. 
you know, is that the is that what they call the Stockholm syndrome? Is this part of that the Stockholm syndrome that you would feel bad for a man that has apparently been coming into your apartment for a long time, stealing your clothes, and then you actually catch him with your clothes on? Why would she feel bad for him? I don't know. Ronald Glenn, spokesman for, the, spokesman for the Greensboro County Police Department, said police arrested 30-year-old Andrew Clyde Swafford shortly after, afterward at a nearby gas station. Swafford was charged with misdemeanor breaking and entering, Glenn said. Inmate records also show previous charges, including larceny and failure to appear in court on felony counts. He is being held in Guilford County Jail on $26,000 bond. Okay, so clearly there's something going on with Andrew. Hopefully he'll get some type of psychological evaluation. I'm just glad that he didn't hurt Maddie because Maddie is probably in her 20s. She's a junior, and um, I don't know for sure. I don't think they said they – oh, maybe they did say the age. I just can't remember. Um, but he's a 30-year-old, full-grown man, so hopefully he gets the help that he needs and he doesn't do this to anybody else. I've heard of other incidences of people walking into the wrong apartments, but as far as someone being in somebody's closet, I haven't heard that before. That's pretty unique, Glenn said. He added that there were no signs of forced entry at Maddie's residence. Wow, how wasn't any signs of forced entry? Was her door locked? Or did she have a, you know, either her doors or her windows wasn't locked, or she has a way to get into her apartment that, is you can just walk in. But I'm thinking she probably didn't have her doors or her windows locked like she should have. Maddie told Fox 8 that she no longer feels safe in her apartment, duh, where she encountered intruders in the past. Oh, okay, so this is not her first time experiencing someone being in her apartment that shouldn't be her in her apartment. She says she notified her leasing office after discovering two men in the living room on December 19th. Okay, that's just, that's not long ago. So Maddie's apartment is attracting people. Maybe they are, maybe they've been going in there while she's in school. People know that she keep her doors unlocked. Two men in her living room. That incident right there probably would have had me out. You know, I'm quite sure if her parents knew about it, they probably like, you need to come home. <laughs> you know, that is scary. That's scary for a young girl to be in an apartment and these men keep coming and breaking into your, your your place. Everybody, make sure you lock your doors at night. Make sure your windows are locked at night because people will find a way in there. That's important. Don't take for granted you're in a good neighborhood, you know. And I've been to Greensboro plenty of times, and it, it appears to be pretty safe, at least the parts that I've been to. And um, you just can't take anything for granted. Make sure you lock up. An employee with Berkeley Communities, the property management company, told Fox 8 that the locks had been changed at the time, but a police report wasn't filed, which was standard protocol. I can't stay here. My closet, it stinks, Maddie said to Fox 8. Every time I go in my room, there's a bad vibe. I'm just ready to leave. I would have been ready to leave on December 19th when those two men were in my house. I would have been uh, ready to leave when I saw them handprints on my bathroom <laughs> my bathroom uh, wall. I mean, it took her to actually see the person dressed in her clothes. I would have been out of there. Maddie told WFMY that she already signed a lease for a new apartment, and hopefully she's keeping her uh, windows and doors locked like she should. So anyway, I'm just glad that Maddie is okay. I'm glad that um, she did use her survivor instincts to keep that man busy until her boyfriend got there. But Maddie, if your if if your doors wasn't locked, please, when you move into this next place, don't do this. Don't make the same mistakes. Make sure you're locking up at night. And when you start seeing something strange, don't just assume it's a ghost. Okay, she may be into the paranormal or something, and that's why she would automatically assume that. I would never have automatically assumed a ghost if my things were missing and I'm seeing handprints on the walls. I mean, do ghosts even make handprints? I don't know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story. And again, if you like the video, like the commentary, please share and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.